Hey guys, welcome back. I have my last nail tutorial for my fall polish series and it's this multi-moon design. The polish that I'm featuring today is Color Binge and this was released in 2015 with their Leggy Legend fall collection and it's such a gorgeous bright red orange with a little bit of pink polish and it's just such a great balance of all those colors. I have all Essie polishes in this design. I have Essie Good as Gold, Essie Blanc, Essie Bobbing for Bobbles, and Saltwater Happy and Vested Interest. And they just go so great together and they make such a great combination. Okay, so let's get into the design. I always start out with a good base coat. I'm using the CND Sticky Base and then I did two coats of Color Binge on all my nails except for my ring finger. And I did two coats of Bobbing for Bobbles. And I also did a fast dry top coat on top of bobbing for bobbles just because you want to make sure that's completely dry before you use any tape to do your nail art. And I'm just using scotch tape for this design which makes it really nice. I like the transparent tape the best, it seems to stick well. And I'm just going to make sure that I put that on there evenly just so that I can have enough room for half circles along the side of the nail. And then make sure it's pressed down completely. And you can use striping tape for this, but I like that the scotch tape covers the nail so you don't have any mistakes. And I'm going to start putting three of my colors on a paper plate, Blanc, Color Binge, and Saltwater Happy. And you want to move fairly quickly so the polish doesn't get glumpy, but I'm just using the back end of my brush because it's the perfect size. And dab that on in the center of that line of the scotch tape, and then when you're finished, pull that off. And now that I'm on this side of the nail, you'll be able to see it a little more clearly, so just leave enough space and then put the second row or third row, every row that you do, alternating the other row. And you just want to mix up the colors so that they're in different positions on the nail. And then pull the tape off when you're finished. And then on the edge here, I decided that I wanted to use this striping tape just because it was a little easier to work with in this very tight space that I have on this edge of my nail. So you put that on, make sure it's completely down, and then dab on your alternating colors, and then pull it right off. It really is quite simple. You just want to make sure that everything's completely dry. You just have to be a little patient so that you can put your striping tape or scotch tape on your nail. And come back with this brush. I'm using my Winstonia brush, and I'm going to come back with bobbing for bobbles and clean up any edges and any areas where the polish bled through the tape. And that will happen, so it's okay. You just touch it up. And then make sure that's completely dry before you go ahead and do your top coat. Now while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and do this small edge, this thin French tip line, which is so gorgeous once you have it on. You just want to carefully paint that. Um, this is my first time doing it, so I definitely need a little bit more practice, but that's okay. When you're finished and everything's completely dry, just make sure you add your fast dry top coat to the top so that your manicure lasts. And that's the final look. I hope you guys like this. It really is so simple if you're just patient. And let me know if you guys give this a try and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.